Hello everybody, it's Melanie coming to you from the Outer Banks, North Carolina. And here we are, still working on this guy today. But um, I wanted to do a video and I had to clear up. I cleared up 34 minutes of space, that's intense. I wanted to do a video today talking about triggers, boundaries, and what to do and what not to do when people cross those. <laughs> And uh, I had a very interesting surfing experience today. It's like the most epic waves over there. Most epic, beautiful, clean, glassy faces, all the things. Um, it is October 27th. It is my one of my older sister's birthdays. And um, happy birthday, Stacy. Uh, it is beautiful. And so, I get to go out and celebrate a little bit of her birthday tomorrow, but um, epic day and so stoked about everything and we're like here early and go out and I start catching waves. And I tell you for like the last five years of my surfing journey, I've been terrified. I've had so much fear, allowed it to hold me back, not been brave and missed out on so much good stuff. And now I go out and I charge it and I'm like, I don't effing care. I'm going to have a great time and blah, blah, blah. So I don't steal waves from people. I don't, um, I don't, if someone's like going for a wave, like I let them have it and I'm not mean and pushy by any means. And I root for people and I'm excited and stoked and I just have a good time. Well, today... <laughs> After my week of triggers and all of the stuff that has gone on, which I don't talk about like 100% of it. I used my cacao example yesterday. Um, I guess I haven't posted that video yet, but I used my cacao. <laughs> uh, uh, spilling cacao is my example, but there's like way more stuff going on under the scenes and I just don't talk about it. Um, but it does bother me and I try not to let it and I try to move forward and so after a week and an eclipse coming and this is like a closure eclipse after all of this and even a lifetime of kind of like crap and if you followed my journey you know what crap I'm talking about if you haven't followed my journey welcome my name is Melanie I'm from the Outer Banks and I share my life and love and passion of artwork and beach and nature with the folks on here as well as Instagram so that I can like share my experience and maybe y'all learn something from it too but that's what I do here and uh there's lots of teaching and wisdom within what I share somehow some way because even I listen back to it I'm like wow that was good stuff <laughs> so um epic waves epic surf today I'm in a good mood girls are in a good mood Lulu paddles out Scarlett's on the inside blasting it on the goat which is like this little green foam board that she loves and I'm bareback and it's October 27th right like this is it, it, crystal clear blue water it's freaking phenomenal so I catch a wave paddle out again go to catch another wave and I'm joking around with my daughter she's 10 and I'm like I'm catching the wave girlfriend I'm gonna get it blah 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 and she's joking around with me and we're having a great time and uh, this dude comes up on my right which I was taking the left so supposedly he has the right of way I told him as well as my daughter that I was taking the wave and I was going and he said or so I'm going too fast I take the wave I catch it and I'm in like the perfect spot and I'm like sorry and I just go my butt's like up I'm <laughs> it was like I'm on a longboard I don't normally move and groove like this like I'm not normally I just, it was a good wave. And so of course, you know, the darkness comes and bubbles up to the surface for this fellow and gentleman. And um, he paddles out to me once I get to the outside again. And he's like, if you were really sorry, you would have backed off the wave. I was like, excuse me? And he goes, if you were actually sorry, you would have backed off the wave. And I said, I said I was sorry because my butt was in your face and I was just catching the wave. I told my daughter I was catching the wave and he kept going. Finally, I tell him like, fucking leave me alone. And I told him over and over and over again. And he continued. And we're out there in the water and I paddle away and he paddles closer. And then finally I snap because 
I'm like, all these people have been pushing me around my whole life. I'm, <laughs> it's like this whole dramatic boil over, which I understand now isn't the right thing. But like, I'm this, I, I yelled at him. I'm a 38 year old housewife with three kids that I homeschool. And when I come out to catch a wave after I'm running my business and I'm doing my music and I'm doing my artwork and I'm doing all of the things, and I come to catch a wave, and I say I'm taking the wave, let me have the wave. And he kept going, he wouldn't even let me talk. And finally, I was like, you know, you just fucking old man. <laughs> I went off on him. And um, he could have like, A, not said anything, and let me have the wave, because it's a nice thing to do when someone says they're taking the wave, let them take the wave. And we don't need to fight over them, there's plenty. Um. And then to come and just be a jerk about it after. And I'm just so sick and tired of all the crap. Like all the under the surface crap going on in the collective. And going on in my world and my reality. And so I just, I did break. And I did snap. And I tried to like be like, alright, peace out bro. I love you. Bye. Like I tried to do all this peace, love, namaste stuff. And he just kept going. And it's very reminiscent actually to February. <laughs> when another person in my life just kept going. But these people that provide the most uncomfortable discomfort of triggers and all of the things, those people, those are the ones that teach you the most. Those are the situations where you grow the most. Those are the times where you're able to learn all of the life lessons if you choose to and figure out, you know, where you did right and where you did wrong. I think that one of my superpowers now this out of this experience is like acting crazy intentionally because one thing like he wouldn't stop he wouldn't leave me alone he said well you want to throw down out here I was like you want to throw down out here let's throw down and I paddled over real fast and made eye contact and ended up like going into the offensive um position instead of a defensive attack position where I'm like trying to protect myself and just like leave me alone bro leave me alone I then went after him and I paddled over it and I said, all right, this is what you want to do today? Fine. I start telling him my whole life story again. And you know what? That's the biggest trick in the book. Like they think you're freaking crazy and they might like something bad might happen. Cause like, how can somebody switch like that? How can somebody change and transform like that? I don't know. So I, uh, I started telling him my whole life story and started paddling after him and he finally left me alone and then he went and licked his wounds by blabbing the whole story to everybody on the wave and some other girl got involved with like we you're ruining the day blah, 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 blah. and um doesn't know like the full story and had she known the story she probably would have known I was right but she only saw what she saw and it's all about perspective and everybody's perspective is totally different and I get all that the one thing I could have done was just stay silent and that's what I learned after getting out and I was meditating on my blanket here and the birds had been here chewing on some leftover granola from the girls and um, they are just sitting there going back, 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 back and I'm like dude y'all are kind of annoying and then in my head I was like what are you going to do about it? Nothing. So had I just sat there, smiled, and stayed silent, a lot would have been prevented. Um, however, maybe this was all a lesson in this dude's reality to like fucking shut up. <laughs> just shut up and leave people alone and don't start teaching me etiquette. I know etiquette, dude. I'm just desperate for waves because I don't get them very often. And I'm grateful for the opportunities that I've had the last couple of days and been able to schedule this stuff in. But when all of the folks are out here surfing jamming on and getting their sunrise session every summer day that's i don't have the time for that so <sighs> i said i was taking the wave and if a lady says she's taking the wave don't take the wave from her where's chivalry where's where's kindness we do a lot for the collective we do a lot for from all the mothers out there i know what you go through because i go through it too and all the dudes out there you have like no idea i guess the good dudes do because they stand by their women and they let them have the wave those are the good ones that's my husband so anywho with all that said i hope you all have an excellent day i believe i finished this and i think i'm gonna give it to my sister because it's cool so yeah 
Oh, it's not all the way finished, but I'll post a picture of it on the Instagram page. And yeah, hope y'all have a good one. Adios, my friends. Peace.